An interesting paper about societies of the mind won a top award at the last Newer IPS conference. It describes a system where different agents inside a neural network debate with each other or collaborate in other ways using natural language in order to solve problems. That's done in a way that's similar to Minsky's theory about society of the mind. Let's first review what Minsky's theory says, and then let's take a look at this interesting experiment. Martin Minsky was one of the fathers of computer science. He was on faculty at MIT for 58 years, where he co-founded the MIT Artificial Intelligence Lab. He published his book, Society of the Mind, back in 1988. And you can see here a kind of baseline of interest across the last two decades, which is how far Google was able to track. And you can see a recent spike there around the time of the conference. Minsky's book has four key ideas. First, he proposes a theoretical framework for an intelligent system where individual agents are specialized. Each one performs its own task, like perception or reasoning. Although each module can be quite simple, there are many modules. So, that's number one. And these agents communicate with each other and influence each other in various ways. And complex behaviors emerge from those interactions. So, that's number two. The key point is that no executive agent dictates what each one does. The intelligence of the system is the result of a dynamic interplay between its parts. So, that's number three. And finally, new agents can come into being, and existing ones can evolve, which allows the system to adapt and learn. And that's number four. Now, if you had lived centuries ago and were trying to figure out how your mind works, you might have decided that maybe there's something called a homunculus, a little man sitting inside your head, directing your activities. Or, if you're a developer today, you might have assumed that you need to be that little person, that you have to write code that designs all the rules and processes that will happen, and you'll have to do that up front. But the Society of the Mind Framework is an alternative view. So let's look at this. The authors designed a network where different agents communicate with each other in natural language to work out solutions to problems amongst themselves. And that approach was applied to seven different types of problems. I'll show you two of them to illustrate how it works. Here's an example of the framework being used in a situation where we have an image and a multiple choice question about it. In this example, it's an image of suitcases. And the question is, how many suitcases have tags? For this, the authors set up a society of the mind consisting of five members. There is a large language model that acts as the organizer, and a large language model that acts as a leader, plus three different visual language models, one using LIP2, one using OFA, and one using MPLUG. First, the organizer reads the question and asks a sub-question. All three of the visual language models answer the sub-question, and their answers become new inputs to the organizer, who then generates a new sub-question based on those responses. And that back and forth continues for a preset number of rounds. Then the leader requests the organizer to summarize the whole chat history. Finally, the leader reads the summary and selects the answer to the original question. In this case, the organizer has summarized the work of the others as follows. In the image, six distinct suitcases are neatly stacked, each with a different size. Some suitcases have tags, while others don't. Four suitcases are tagged. The tags are white in color. 
From this, it's easy for the leader to select the correct answer. Choice D, four tags. Winner. Here are the results of this experiment compared to other leading models. The best performing zero-shot model was Tex Da Vinci 3, which was augmented with an image captioning module. That one got an accuracy score, as you can see there, of 54.51. And the best performing fine-tune model, you can see there, is 60.3. And you can see that the Society of the Mind keeps improving as the number of rounds of discussion increase from 1 to 3 to 5 to 10. And after only 10 rounds, the accuracy score reaches 67.42, which is about 24% better performance than the top performing zero-shot model, Tex Da Vinci. So that's quite significant. And here's the other example I picked for you. In this case, we have a video where someone's wearing a head cam as she does her laundry. Apparently, there's some soap nearby, out of view of the camera. And the network is asked to guess at what moment the narrator might have seen that soap. Oh! That's a pretty subtle request. The soap's not visible. So first we have to infer where it might logically be located and then study the activity in the video to see when she's apparently looking in that particular direction based upon where the head-mounted camera is pointing. Who knew a computer could tackle a problem like that? Okay, so the four GPTs discuss the situation with each other and then a fifth GPT acts as a moderator and the answer comes back like this. Based on my observation and considering the input from my colleagues, there are several possible times when you may have seen the soap in the video. At time 1533, when you put the socks on the basin, you could have noticed the soap nearby. At time 1534, when you picked up the detergent from the shelf, it's possible that you saw the soap next to it. At time 1536, when you opened the detergent, you may have also noticed soap nearby. And at time 1540, when you closed the detergent, you could have seen the soap. In fact, the first three were the correct answers. And that fourth answer, although apparently not quote-unquote correct, was very logical. I might have guessed that one too. So in sum, this paper showcases an actual implementation of the Society of the Mind framework, where five agents collaborated using natural language in each of the two examples I showed just now. By the way, there were many other examples in the paper, seven different types of problems in all, and the Society of the Mind approach consistently outperformed the top alternatives. So I'll leave a link to that paper for you in the chat so you can check it out if you want. Now to close, Let's imagine if something similar to this were done using thousands of agents, or millions, or billions of agents instead of five. Based upon what we've seen, it's pretty easy to imagine that one of the usual suspects is working on something like that in stealth mode right now.